Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics, and happy new comic book day, May 4th, 2022, and may the 4th be with you. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do a little bit different today. I, I got some really cool books that I want to show off, so definitely stick around to the end because, yeah, I don't want to put them in back, like, in a black bag or anything for show. I, I'm, they're, they're really cool. All right. Um, now, as always, we're trying to hit 200 subscribers, so like, comment, and subscribe would be cool, and that's going to also enter you to win the Joker number one Mark Brooks variant cover and the CBCA sticker, which is really cool. And that's the Comic Book Community Awards. And if you don't know about that, it's kind of like the Oscars for YouTube comic book personalities. And it's pretty cool. You guys should check it out. All right, let's get right on into the books that I that I did pick up this week. And we're going to start with Marvel. And it was a really light week because there's a lot more stuff coming out on New Comic Book Day. And it's just, yeah, kind of a light week. So we got Marauders number two. And that, it's just a really awesome cover. I, I was loving that cover. That's uh, Brimstone Love right there, if you don't know who that is. And he first appeared in the X-Men 2099. So he's, he's cool. He's one of my more favorite bad guys. And speaking of 2099, I did pick up the Spider-Man 2099 Exodus Alpha. And featuring Ghost Rider 2099, and we got my favorite character, Miguel O'Hare, right there on the front cover. I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one. As always, out of any of the new issues that I did pick up this week, if you're interested in seeing me review any of them specifically, pop a comment below and let me know which ones. Um, so there we go. We got the Spider-Man 2099 Exodus Alpha. Unfortunately, I, I was unable to get a... Uh, the gold border that kind of homage to uh oops homage to the spider-man 2099 number one right there yeah sad days <laughs> and then i also got some dc if you saw i reviewed this last night on the show so we got batman beyond neo year number two with that really cool he fell into a joker pick cover and i just thought that that was actually a pretty good read honestly continuing on with that series and uh we got the new batman like i told you guys i'm gonna see how it goes to uh to read batman without picking up every single shadow war tie-in so i read batman 122 and we're gonna read batman 123 and see what happens see if i can still follow along right all right now let's dive into some of the back issues that i picked up and it's a lot of x-men and x-men related characters just to you know, um, but uh, so to start with, we'll start with one of the more killer issues that I found. It's a possible 9.8 candidate of the X-Men number one with the Gambit, Colossus, Psylocke, and Rogue front cover. So now I got quite a few of those to, to send off together at some point. Um, and then, uh, you guys know I'm a big Gambit fan, and so I found this one, um, and uh, it's Uncanny X-Men 265, so it's the, uh, the issue before Gambit's first appearance, and I just thought that was cool. It's got the young Storm on there on the front cover, uh, like you see on 266 uh, with Storm, but she's a little bit older there. And then there were some other back issues that were really clean, and so I got them. <laughs> so we got Uncanny X-Men 313. And it was kind of a light week, so I got a bunch of stuff. And Uncanny X-Men 294. And then I got another key here. I, I got the, uh, I did get the first appearance, uh, X-Men number four, the first appearance of Omega Red. And I always really like that cover. Number five's killer too, with Omega Red on the cover, his first cover appearance. But this one's a really awesome cover. Uh, Jim Lee is, yeah. And and two, I kind of thought that this one was at least CGC worthy. So we'll get that sent off at some point. Um, 
and then this one I, I I just I thought it was cool and a good price for so for for not too much um, I got the X Factor number two not a key issue or anything just a just a cool issue to have it's not really not really super expensive and then um, these are the big boys that I found I found this week like I said stick around till the end of the video it's it's worth it. All right, so we have a Wolverine Marvel Comics limited series number four right here. And these are really nice, clean copies. I plan to send these off in a, in a bronze submission coming up soon. So you guys will get to see these here and then a Again, hopefully in, in cased in slabs and protected light nicely. This is a number two. Also, as you can see, in very good condition. And this is the the first appearance of Mirko, um, Wolverine's longtime girlfriend. And this one, the number three, that's got that all black cover that's just really hard to find in high grade and um, my opinion is this is a very nice presenting copy at least and so I'm, I'm planning on sending it it's just a, a really cool cover with uh, Wolverine looking real sad right there so yeah two two three and four of the Wolverine limited series and I was really stoked on that those those are honestly uh, some of my grails and so I was I was really excited to find uh, to find them and uh, and then this one too that's really popular right now and I, j I just found it for a good price and uh, so I figured I would have to snag it up and send it along with the Wolverines um, just because it's such a nice presenting copy it's always been one of my more favorite characters so we do have a, a Moon Knight number one premiere issue not the first appearance of Moon Knight it is the first appearance of a Moon a Moon Knight villain uh, but uh, yeah just a classic cover that I think everyone knows and as you can see the, the colors really do pop on that one it's it's a beautiful copy of the Moon Knight number one and then obviously saw I got two three and four and so I did get Wolverine number one limited series and um, as you can I, it's a really nice copy I was I was very happy to pick these up today at my my LCS and uh, yeah I mean they're just like I said they're <laughs> Wolverine's one of my favorite characters and I honestly didn't really think I'd ever own one of those books in that nice a condition and um yeah so i'm um, i'm so grateful to have to have found them at a at a price point uh, an entry point that i i felt comfortable at and um yeah man um shoot remember guys like comment and subscribe if you, if you do like this kind of content and that'll enter you to win the joker number one the mark brooks variant and it's a really cool cover too actually like be sad to see it go. <laughs> He's got the Joker um, driving his car there and looking all crazy with. Uh, I, th I think her name is. Um, it's not. It's not a. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Punchline. I'm pretty sure that's Punchline right there. So it's pretty cool. He's driving his car. Punchline's hanging out with him. <laughs> all right, guys. If you. If you stuck around this long into the video and you do like this kind of content, hey, click the link below and shop on my eBay store. It'll help me out. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll ship some comics to you, too. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Uh, like I said, may the fourth be with you.